What's happening, man? Thanks for having me. Good to meet y'all. Good to meet you, dude. I'm Reed Bassetti over there. Um, first of all, congrats on the success of Not the 1975, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to talk more about that song in a bit, but I figured since you're, you're kind of new, at least to, to our station, Kiss FM in Northeast Wisconsin, let's see if we can get Northeast Wisconsin to know a little bit about Knox. I love it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right, so it. we're just going to do a, a bunch of just real quick, easy questions, nothing to really think about, and then you just I give me it. whatever you think. You got it. You got it, brother. All right. So like I said, very easy. Ice cream or donuts, one has to go forever. Which one? Hot take ice cream. All right. <laughs> Not <laughs> a hot take at all. Okay, okay. Dive okay. bar, club, Applebee's, or home. Where, Where are we, we going for some drinks? Applebee's, baby. Dollaritas all you. day. Yes, sir. Sorry, <laughs> dude. They don't pay me to say it. Applebee's is so underrated, and their boneless wings are oh, great. Top notch. And, the, like, the, the bottomless or whatever you call them, endless, boneless, whatever it is, I mean, it doesn't get better than that, dude. Thank you. So, somebody gets me here. Okay. I get uh, you. Next one. Knox, are you a night owl or a morning person? Oh, I would say night owl. I mean, to be honest, I just, I like sleep. I feel like I'm neither. <laughs> but I'll, I'll say night owl, though. Okay. okay. Uh, is Nate Dealey from the 1975 the coolest dude ever? Wait, hold on. What was that you cut out? Uh, is Nate Dealey from the 1975 the coolest dude ever or what? Absolute dude. When I saw him at Lollapalooza, I mean, I was just like, this guy is a rock star, dude. So yes, the answer is no. He doesn't even try. He just like he literally walks out on stage and just looks at the crowd and like in a wife beater, and everybody's just like, yes. And I'm like, yeah, dude, this guy is him. (laughs) He lights up a cigarette. Girls are throwing all their clothes at him. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Yep. Knox, are you a Harry Potter fan? Love Harry Potter. What house do you rep? Gryffindor, baby. I'm redheaded. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. Um, what is your favorite song from the 1975 and why? Ooh. Um, love It If We Made It, just because when I saw it live, it was just the craziest live song. Because the whole crowd is like, there's no singing that happens. It's just screaming. Everyone is just screaming. And it's beautiful. It's amazing. If you could only eat one kind of cheese forever. <laughs> Sorry. If you could only eat one kind of cheese forever, what would it be and why? Um, Think think hard here. Could be a little bit of a trick question. Okay, this is is crazy. Um, A trick question. Okay, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the literal answer and I'm going to go, Munster cheese, dude, is crazy. Okay. Munster cheese goes hard. Only because (laughs) I grew up, my dad's like a cheese fanatic. He's always had one of those little boards that has the little wire. You know what I'm saying? That cuts them. And he always had he always had a cube of monster, dude. That was just awesome. And I love it. I think it's great. (laughs) Eddie, what are you saying? See, I'm a provolone guy, but I agree with you too. Monster is pretty stellar. It goes kind of hard, man. On a on a little little pastrami, dude. Oh yeah. Hear me out. Mozzarella. Is that a pizza? It's I mean is it is it bad to say maybe overrated maybe pizza no no not pizza oh. mozzarella <laughs> pizza's great okay but, but without but without the tomato sauce what is mozzarella you know that's fair i'm thinking mozzarella sticks but what are we dipping it in that's exactly you know you're not just eating a mozzarella a fried mozz stick dude that's i'm learning, learning. something here I'm like, <laughs> always always dip with honey mustard Ooh, that's how I roll. Honey uh, mustard. Okay, Eddie. All right, all right. Stepping uh, out of the box, I I respect it. Nah, who is your number one celebrity crush? Oh, um, uh, there's there's uh there's a girl on the show Gen V. Have you seen this? No, no. Gen V. Her name's Lizzie Broadway, and I think she's from Ohio too. So awesome. Are you from Ohio? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Dayton. I'm from Dayton. Nice. Yeah. All right, just a couple more quick ones here. Um, I see your tour doesn't stop in Northeast Wisconsin. Why do you hate it? Dude, yeah, hey, listen, <laughs> I love Wisconsin, okay? I love Wisconsin. I love the state. I love the people. I love cheese. Um, but when it comes to routing tours, that's out of my control. You're going to have to blame my booking agent. Nothing to do with me, so y'all don't worry. 
I'm going to need a number after we get done with this. I got, <laughs> All right, I got y'all. Don't you sweat. <laughs> okay, okay. Last one. What are you listening to right now that maybe not a lot of people are on to? Uh, there's a kid named David Alexander. He lives in L.A. He's from New York. I've worked with him once, but we're more so friends than we are coworkers. Uh, he's a freak. He makes incredible music. I think he's going to be one of the biggest uh, – whether he's artists or songwriters, he will be one of the biggest of either of those. He's 20 years old, and the kid is a monster. Awesome. Am I muted? Uh, you are now. You got muted, man. Hold on. I'm muted. It might be because I'm getting, it it might be I'm getting back over here. There we go. Here. Um, I'm trying to... uh, okay, dude. Uh, uh, okay, dude. Quick. I got to ask you real you quick. Got a, you, got a dog. you got a dog. You got a dog. I saw on your, yeah. Instagram. I saw on your Instagram. Is it a corgi? Is it a corgi? Because it looks like a corgi, it looks but it also like a, looks like a longer German like shepherd. Yes. So she's actually, she is a, she's an Aussie shepherd mixed with a Cocker Spaniel. So she looks like a shepherd, but she's like yeah, only yeah. like 30 pounds. Like she's not very big and she's not going to get much bigger, but she's dope. Her name is Loki. I like, she's the love of my life. I would not exist without her. She's the greatest. Uh, how, <laughs> how old is she? she? She is about to turn a year actually in, uh, on Valentine's day. So in just like a month. Nice. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So let's let's talk about music right now, real quick. As let's far as music is concerned, uh, you got you said you got the pop sound, you got the the ulti pop sound. So of all these genres mixed in, like what what do you consider yourself? Where do you fall into that, dude? Like uh, honestly, I I like to just say you know pop, um, but th okay, this is gonna be really like music artsy boy of me what i'm about to say but i don't even like to say like i'm any kind of genre because i just want to like do whatever you know what i mean like i want to be able to put out singer songwriter type stuff i want to be able to put out rock songs like love letter and i want to put out pop songs like i'm so good at being alone and then i want to put out not the 1975 which is like right down the middle of the pop and rock you know like i i really you know yeah, like my whole goal is always so to like, just not I'm, like I, I want the songwriting to be the sound. You know what I mean? Um, in the voice to be the sound instead of the production of the songs. You know? Definitely. So, in that regard, with your music, and you're not putting yourself in this bubble, how important is it for you to to use social media with that music to kind of promote like TikTok or whatever the case may be? Dude, I mean, social media, like, you know, I know so many people, including myself, that was also like kind of anti social media and like posting your videos. But like, dude, at the end of the day, social media nowadays is like, if you're not posting something on TikTok or Instagram every day, then like, for me personally, it's like, man, you don't want people to listen to your music that bad. It's like, that's how you get the music out. Like, that's just how it is nowadays. You know what I mean? You, you have to be, you have to be posting and making content and, you know, it's it's crazy. I feel like I ha I've had so many people that have come up to me and be like, dude, you're like, you've got TikTok and you've Instagram figured TikTok. out, whatever, where it's more so like the videos I make aren't complicated, dude. It's just like they're just videos of me standing in front of the phone. And I'm like, hey, here's the song that I wrote. And so I feel like the videos really focus on the music, which is cool because they're still going viral, which means people are connecting to the song and not whatever like bit I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Um, and so I think if you're posting, like it should be about the music, like make the videos about the music. And if the song is good, it's going to do well. You know what I mean? Like great music will always be great music. You know what I mean? You might what? wrap this up. Okay. All right. So <laughs> not the 1975. Okay. It's a bop. We've heard the story, the way it originated. Let's hear from you and, and get more details on, on that T right there. Dude, yeah, I, I so I was on a riding trip to LA uh, with with one of my buddies, and we we knew some friends in LA. We went out, we went out, and I like literally, you know, I was I was trying to be cool, you know. I'm like trying to raise up. I have a girlfriend now, by the way. I'm just gonna put that out there. She's great, but I was trying to, I was, you know, I was trying to raise up this girl, whatever. And I was like, nah, you know, I make I make music, and she was like you know because uh, you know when you you tell somebody you make music and they're like okay like i bet you do i was like no no i'm like i like 
am signed. Like, I have a record deal. I'm, like, with, you know, whatever. And she literally told me, she was like, okay, but you're not Maddie Healy and you'll never be Maddie Healy. So I don't care. And I was like, I was like, damn, dude. I was like, that's kind of, that's kind of hilarious. And so the next morning, the next morning I woke up and literally the first line, she said, I like your confidence, but you're not the 1975. That was just in my head on loop. And I told my buddy Spencer, who I write all my songs with, I was like, dude, this right here, just that line, that is a whole song. I was like, we can write an entire song based on that. And so, yeah, we did. It, it turned out to be. Um, the song that's kind of changing my life, which is pretty sick. So shout out yeah, that girl. I don't know her name, but shout out her. <laughs> well, and speaking of her, I know you're all booed up now and everything, but what if you weren't and she slid into your DMs going like, hey, remember me? What's your what's your response? I mean, I would be like, I, honestly, I would probably thank her and just be like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. But then, but that would be it though. You know what I mean? I'd be like, hey, you didn't. You didn't believe in me back then. You can't believe in me now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know she's out there yeah, telling everybody the songs about me. Exactly, exactly. But, dude, that's the funny thing is, like, I swear, like, I, I didn't catch her name. Like, part of me, I don't even know if I would remember her if I saw her. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So, okay, the album, I'm so good at being alone. That's where the single's on. Give us more info about the album, where we can find it, where people can track it down, listen to it, and because it's it's pretty darn awesome. Dude, thank you, man. You can check it out. It is it is literally out everywhere. It is like anywhere you can possibly stream music, anything. It, it is on there, and it is my favorite piece of work that I've ever made. I think it's the best songs I've ever made. Um, I think they're the coolest songs. Um, the project itself is just a beautiful whole, and um, – I think if you like Not the 1975, you should check it out because I think there are some other really nice hidden gems in there that are that are really good that I think got a little slept on. So everybody should go check them out. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Well, we appreciate your time. Good luck with everything. It sounds great here on Kiss FM. One of our new favorites. Everybody in the building is talking about it. We love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Let's go. Well, thanks, boys. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, come to Wisconsin soon, support. man. Love. Dude, you guys are the best, man. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, come on over for some cheese. We got you. Dude, if y'all if y'all got the cheese, I'll bring the cheese cutter, dude. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Be good. Right, boys. Take Take it it easy, man. Later. <laughs>